Okay, I know I kept you a while, but let's go ahead and get started on this video. <sighs> because um, some people ain't understanding what I'm saying. So the best way to do this is to just draw it the fuck out. Literally. Um, go ahead and pause and read the comments. When I was explaining this, go ahead and pause, read the comments so you can go up to date. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, damn, how many comments in this comments thread? Yeah. Oh, him too. He didn't really understand it. This was what I commented about Saitama not being able to reach 100%. Interesting. Okay, let's get this started. Oh yeah, before I get started, if in case you forgot what video this is, um, this is the video when I say let's play devil's advocate and say Saitama did go full power one punch man. That's what this topic's about. In this video, we're saying he did go full power. Well, oh well, at least I can let loose that full power against a guy can stay up. And the other two people was like. He can never actually reach full power. Or what else did he say? All right, I need to read this comment out loud. What do you mean? What videos I'm talking about? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, this is one. Yes, Saitama growth is immeasurable, limitless, infinite, etc., etc. Because it's endless, I know that. That's why I said it doesn't make sense for me, for you to say he's going full power. All he's doing is just using more power after every punch, which is him growing to get to a certain amount of power he wants to use. You kind of contradict yourself when you, when you say that. You're literally confirming that he needed to grow to use more power. All he's doing is just using more power after every punch, which is him growing to get to a certain amount of power he wants to use. Yes, he has to grow to get to that certain amount of power. He's growing. Now, allow me to prove my point. We get this far. The author also confirms that Saitama is growing at a certain is growth when I notice this literally confirms at every point in time Saitama is at a certain level of infinity we know his strength is already infinite but we don't know how much into infinity it is because it's literally growing at an immeasurable rate and there is no way to measure infinity by normal means um if y'all do y'all research on this it is a way to figure out what level a certain type of infinity is but that's a very complex topic that i'm not even gonna fucking even bother getting into so but we know that at every certain point Saitama is at a certain level of power in infinity. So when he sits here and says, I'm going full power, this is what I literally see. I'm, I'm going to draw a simple line. Let's say Saitama says he's going full power. And he strikes. But when he strikes, he strikes at this point in time. At that point in time, as quick as it may be, at that point in time, he gave 100% of his striking power. You guys are looking at it like this. Boom. Well, since he struck him and he grew immediately after that, that's not his 100%. You're looking at it wrong. That, that's why it's not making sense to you. And by the time Saitama struck again, he grew so fast 
that the amount of infinite power he has now is right here. Boom. He gave 100% in that strike again. And these strikes are coming at speeds massively faster than light. He massively outgrew that by the time he retracts his fist and throws another punch. Boom. He gave 100% power again. So even though his power literally never stops growing, he is, in fact, in this Devil Advocate video, giving 100% full power. He's literally striking Garo with everything he has at that very, 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 and I mean very brief moment in time. People don't understand how ridiculously fast this man's growth is. I've been trying to get this point across to people, but it's 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 like it's not sticking for some reason. Yeah, you say this was what I commented about. So I talk about not being able to reach 100%. No. At the moment he strikes with full power, he's literally striking with everything he has at that point in time. Sure, the time is super brief. And by the time he retracts his fists after it done collided with Garo's face, at that end point, at that point in time, that was in fact his 100%. Because the narrator proved that he's growing in power, which proves that he's at a certain power level. But hey, we know he's immeasurable. We know his strength is infinite. But at the same time, the narrator literally confirmed that he's at a level. There was no longer anybody left to measure what level Saitama's strength had reached. He's at a certain level, dude. Y'all are simply looking at it as his strength never stops growing, so it's impossible for him to use 100% false. He's literally striking with 100% full power at that point in time. His power skyrockets, and he strikes with full power, whatever he has again. Power skyrockets some more, strikes with everything he has at that point in time. It's not, it, it don't make sense to y'all simply because y'all looking at it as, oh, he keeps on growing while ignoring that he's at a certain level. He's constantly growing. So at any point in time, he's at a certain level of power. Mind you, very, very briefly, but he is at a certain level of power. His normal rate of growth is immeasurable. So just think of how that will look with the exponential growth. But yeah. And if you still don't understand, more than likely you're just not trying to. And you got up in your mind that his strength never stops growing. It's impossible to use 100%. If your strength literally never stops growing. To that I say you're blatantly ignoring the fact that he's at a certain level of power at any time specific point in time again his power is growing he decides to throw a punch here and he uses everything he has power is still growing he decides to throw a punch with everything he has shit's right there at that point Power still growing. He hits him with everything he has. If you don't get it by then, something's wrong. But even though Saitama's strength is infinite, he has a certain amount of power at any given time. The only difference here is that power just never stops growing up.
So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Leave your comments in the comment section.